You're watching Consumerthon, and today I'm going to do a quick review and demo of the Silhouette Cameo. This is going to be a little bit of a, an abbreviated review, kind of a synopsis of what I had covered in my other video, which I'll link to, which compares this cutter with the Brother Scan and Cut, as well as the Cry Cut Explorer. And I feel that this one is kind of the my last choice among those three. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's uh, it's a little bit more complicated. And some people may like this. Some people may view these points as a positive. Uh, for instance, the software is desktop software, so it's uh, definitely gives you a lot more options. But at the same time, there's a lot more stuff to learn. Like you will want to spend some time going through the tutorials and learning what everything does. The Web apps, in contrast on the Brother Scan and Cut, as well as the Cry Cut Explore, are very simple and easy to use. Um, but then there's some drawbacks in that they're web apps and that they can be a little bit finicky and quirky to operate at times, as you'll see in my Cry Cut Explore video, where I kind of struggle with manipulating the web app. So that's my uh, quick little synopsis of the Silhouette Cameo. It's definitely gonna be okay for some more advanced users and you know, definitely a, if you've been using Cameo for a while, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. But that's kind of my take on it and just playing around with it for a week or two. So what I wanted to do today was replace the vinyl stickers on my mailbox. Now, this project started off as just like, hey, I'll put some black letters on a white piece of vinyl and call it a day. But then I started like looking up the fonts for the mailbox and I realized that hey you know there's like an entire like little cottage industry on Etsy where people make cool vinyl uh, vinyl displays for your mailbox so you can see all these cool mailbox designs that people have made and sell on Etsy what I decided to do was do something nautical themed since I've got a sailboat in back so I uh, I found this image of a sailboat and waves and was able to download this put it into Illustrator make a quick uh, few edits, make the waves a little bit less wavy, and add in the numbers for the address. So with that image, I'll go into Silhouette Studio, and I'll choose the file, import to library, and I'll choose that image, and I'll just drag and drop there. I'll put this in the top left and resize it. That looks about right. Now where I uh, struggled with this before is I'd hit the cutter button and I just press start and it would just say complete because there's you're not telling it to do anything at this point. What you want to do to trace this is to hit this uh, trace box here. It's uh, yellow with blue inside a square. And then you'll select the trace area. And this is the trace it's gonna give you. It's better to turn off the high pass filter and then it'll just kind of cut out the letters that you want. Now I'll hit trace here. And now if I go over to the cut menu, I can see it's outlined in red, the areas it's gonna cut. Uh, one of the things I don't like is that it's, and this is probably because of the way I started this project in Illustrator, I put a black box around everything. So it's actually gonna cut this box out, which I don't really need. So I'll select the image and I'll delete the image, and this is just gonna give me the part it's gonna cut. You can see it's cutting this red outline over everything. I just wanna delete that real quick. So I'll just use the eraser tool, and I'm sure that there's probably a better, more efficient way of doing this, but this is just the way I've done it and not watching all of the tutorials on how to use the software. Okay, so that's the uh, kind of the final of what this is gonna look like, and I'm fine with this, so let's, uh, Send this to the printer. I'll keep my fingers crossed that this works out okay. Okay, so step number one will be to load the cutting mat. And now I'll just choose to start. Hit unload there. And now I'll just peel off the excess vinyl. Okay, relatively painless. I could have uh, 
size the, size the sheet down a little bit to save some vinyl, but I had actually already messed up the other side of this, so I wasn't too worried about wasting a little bit of vinyl. Uh, I've got this uh, little tool here to get out the spaces inside of the numbers. And now I'll cut off a sheet of transfer paper. So I'll peel off the sticky side of the transfer paper. I will put this on here. And this will just make things very nice and easy to do because I can just do this in one go around versus having to uh, peel off and stick in the correct uh, area and align everything. I've got this uh, little squeegee thing that came with the uh, vinyl starter kit from Silhouette. All right, uh, let's go outside and throw this on the mailbox and see how it looks.